just noticed too. It's right side like this. <laughs> it's upside down on this side too. Hi everyone. Hi everyone, welcome back to another taste test. Today I have another Japanese snack to try out by Meito. This is a Puku Puku Tai Ichigo, or what I like to call a Puku Puku Strawberry Fish Cracker. As big as the package is, it's very light. So I'm not sure how long this taste test is going to be. It can be very, very short. So here we go. And look at that. It gets a tray too. That's pretty cool. I like the presentation a lot, so brownie points for that. As you can see, whoa. Oh, that smells really good for a strawberry snack, but here it is. It's like when you're at the fish market. Some, any fish market out there, and they serve you a fish on a platter. I'm not sure if fish markets actually do that, but I mean, it makes sense to serve a fish like this. Again, good presentation. Yep, it's certainly a cracker because it feels like one. It kind of, actually, it kind of feels like one of those wafers. Like a strawberry, like, I don't know what they're called, like a stick wafer or something like that. I can't, the grocery store sells them. They sell them in, like, multi-packs, but I just can't remember what they're actually called, like wafer sticks or something like that. This is what it feels like, so it might be just not like a cracker that, as you think it could be, it's just like a wafer fish. But anyways, it smells good, it looks good, the presentation is great so far, so that's all great! But what about the flavor? I'm gonna find out right now. So, does this come apart? Nope, it's stuck, like the strawberry center is almost like a some hard glue, so I'm just gonna leave it as it is. So anyways, the Puku Puku Strawberry Fish Cracker by Mato. Now, where am I gonna bite into this? I just noticed too. It's right side like this. <laughs> it's upside down on this side too. So it's kind of like, you flip them like this. Anyways, I'm gonna bite its tail. Yep, it's like a, it's like a wafer stick. The thing is though, wafer crackers or just wafers don't have really good flavor at all. They're super, super light. It's like styrofoam kind of. But the strawberry center is really good. Oh no, no more tail. You can't swim anymore. Yep, the strawberry center is perfecto. I kind of feel like I want to eat, actually eat the whole thing. It's that it's really that good, so I'll give it one thumbs up. It's just that it's a wafer cracker. It's just it's kind of light on the outside. That's the only problem I have with it. Everything else is just about perfect. I just like how when you open it, you get it in a plastic tray like this. Makes because they want to protect the cracker from falling to pieces, which is really really smart. So good thinking on Japan's part on doing that. America should do the same for our treats. Well, we have Dunkaroos, and the food is inside like a little tray thing, but I mean, there's other snacks that we can have that can be fit inside of a tray like this. Maybe Ritz crackers, rather than put them in like a tube, and then just sit in there and just get all fallen into pieces. I'm just throwing like, just random thoughts out there, but. This poor fish! He's not gonna have a life anymore. There was a piece on the end of it, so I just took a nip out of that. But yeah, I love the center of it very, very much. Very good strawberry flavor. I have not much else to say about it, so again, good luck to you that want to find this. If you're in Japan, chances are you'll probably find this somewhere at like a 7-Eleven, or what's the store that I'm thinking of that's kind of like a blue, is it Lawson? So forget what I said there, but if you're in America, you'll have to go to like one of those Asian food grocers to look for it there, or maybe you can try to find it online. So good luck. And you know what? I'm gonna save the rest for later. It tastes great, but I rather just savor it. The poor fish. He's just about dead now. I just ate like the second half of his body, or the back half. But with that, 
that is going to do it for this taste test. So, so thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe for more, and don't forget to check out my gaming channel Marcus P. Gaming for video game let's play content. I will see you later, but until then, like always, take care.